Here's the autumn. We're doing a speed run today, guys. If Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Warthog runs and Halo 3 Warthog runs today. So, yes. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't be to that purposely. Imagine SPV3, a Halo Combat Evolved mod, actually being in the game, but what happened to the Banshee? Apparently, it's just disappeared. Let me just turn down the music a little bit. Okay, I can't. That's just me. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. We're back, people. So we got sentinels already. So, um, okay. Um, it's been a very long time since I played this mission, guys, so I am going to suck it. So, Go to the bridge. Oh, here we go. Down the hatch we go. Um, let's see. I hate how in Halo Combat Evolved it takes multiple shots to kill the flood. So here's Anniversary. Uh, looks. Almost like the Reach shotgun, except that it's, it's blue, like the Halo 3 shotgun, and then right here it's just blue. Never go ever going to give up on killing me. So Spec Ops Elite. Oh, and I died. Mm. Victory. <laughs> and it's so funny how it's funny how it puts me back in anniversary mode or classic mode. Honestly, I'm more of a fan of the classic weapon style for the assault rifle, but then again, might just be me. 
probably is me. So, let's go back through here. It's better to see it in anniversary mode because there's more detail put into the mission. Guess how that worked, but you know how that. Um, I have one going in the direction of where I'm supposed to go. So let's. I told you guys I'm not. I don't really play Halo Combat Evolved much. It's normally normally my family teach more than I do. Yep, but it is. Cause that looks like absolute. Classic mode just looks like a elite miner with deranged feet. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I'm even saying anymore, but um, yeah. Oh wow, I sent an elite all the way out here. Wow. The thing is funny is if, even if you punch the body, you don't even have to shoot it, but if you punch it, it just goes flying. Let's get to work. Covenant are still trying to take it over. The code's big. That's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is to have a record of all of our lost time. Human history, is it? Fascinating. Self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win. Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless. And at least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why? Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, Sentinels! was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there. Oh. 
Of course, you have to run into me. <laughs> yep, that wiped about half of them out. See, there's probably a rocket launcher somewhere in here. Not certain, but if there is, that'll be good because I can blow the crap out of them. There's got to be, like, some kind of explosive weapon around here somewhere. Oh my god! Get wrecked, Hunter. So you get trying to charge into me. What? 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 Are there going to be um, spec obsoletes here, or are there going to be different ones? So the, the sentinels are trying to kill me and the flood at the same time. Come on, you've got to be kidding me. Well, bye bye, sentinel. No, never mind. Should go back and grab some ammo, but. Yeah, I remember this from the first mission. This is where we started. I don't know how the how this got here and how the door is fixed, but Devil's Monsters, I recognize the music. So there's John and there's Linda. Um, uh, she's unavailable apparently. <laughs> wow. Huh. And terminal, of course. So apparently Linda, she's dead. But she's not at the same time because she survives Halo Combat Evolved somehow. Because as you can see here, it's like nothing here. And here they just show them. Incoming message.
So, um, I guess I'll explore that terminal later. Maybe. I have no clue. Oh, that's where the flood, that's where those flood were. Apparently they can manage to take down two Spec Ops Elites in a second. And there's an overshield here, that's what I like to see. Grunt, how are you doing? Well, I just saved you. You could at least be nice to me. Okay, you're not gonna be nice to me, okay. Then I guess I'll just kill you, kill you, and kill all those hunters that are just chilling. Out of here. I can manage to get past all this co all the covenant over here. We, oh wow! You just came out of nowhere. Let me make sure I don't have to go anywhere else. Okay. So here is the room I'm supposed to go in. Okay, no. Yeah? There's a pistol around here somewhere. And of course, this flood, the flood blew me up. Go figure. I gotta go all the way back here again. So, um, where's that elite? Okay, so, um, let's go this way. I could've went back and grabbed the Combat Evolved Magnum. Oh, Here's where we get the rocket launchers, and we get all explosive up here. Spinker rocket launchers. Assault rifle ammo. Invisible flood elites. I mean, it's obvious you can see them, but why are they invisible? I mean, they have no attacking, so I don't really need to kill. They can't really attack, so I don't even have to kill them. If I ever need more sprinkler ammo, I come back in here. Which I think I'm not even supposed to be in this room technically. I think it's just somewhere you might want to go. Yeah, I'll save this. But for now, boom, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom again. Um, is there something I'm doing wrong? Oh, I think it's that room I'm supposed to go in. Yep.
Wait, no? I I don't know how I'm supposed to complete the mission if I can't. Ah, in here. That's where I'm supposed to go. Checkpoint marker? No. It's the same room. Am I supposed to get in here when, like, the flood are nearby or something? Come on, you. No, I'm not. They just spawn in here? Wow. I mean, I mean... Okay, I can get out, but I can't get in. I have no idea how to complete this mission, apparently. Um, I think that guy has something to do with it. Um, maybe not. Uh, there's a loading point, so. Um, okay, so, a am I doing something wrong? I, I mean, that's an obvious question, I am doing something wrong, but, what the? I'm supposed to go to the armory, apparently, then. Or... But this room takes me back to the start. Or no, it just loops me around. Okay, I don't even need to kill these guys anymore. I've killed them already, so... I'm just gonna sit in the armory and act like I know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to get in here, but how? Do I blow up the door? No? Wow, I can't even blow up the door. Wow, spinker, spinker rocket launchers are really powerful. Oh, here we go. Just, really? This room is useless? There's just a marine sitting up like this who has no right leg. No, his right leg is distorted, apparently. And that, that's all that's in here, really? Um. Yeah. Um. So. I gotta be doing something wrong, because th this is all loading point, but- oh! Light fuse run away. Engine room located. We're here. Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. 
that should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. No, kill yourself, monitor. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cell. Use an explosion. Oh my god! Stupid it. sentinels. You run out of there is an armory station located near the enemy room's entrance. How many enemies are going to be? My goodness. Magnum might be helpful. Then again, it's not. I like the this. This is the Halo Five Magnum. This is the Halo Three Magnum. It looks like. Friendly fire is not tolerated. You must surrender the construct. So that How did I die? Uh, did I just fall? Apparently, I just fell. Engine room located. And that killed me. Here. So. Alert. The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. I'm going to do this one again next. Did you say I'm trying to help? Oh my god, stupid. other side now after I'm done dealing with these creeps that should burn the flood oh apparently not oh crap oh I'm lucky that didn't kill me Uh, the Halo 3 board over is so much easier. If only there were rally points, um, like there are in, like, Halo 3. 
And then, of course, it blows me up, and now I gotta redo the entire thing over again. Never mind. And I have no clue where I am. Hold on. This is the more annoying side. Cause like you can barely jump forward in this game. It's like it's so annoying. Um so and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! So this has already been 35 minutes long. I don't call that really a speed run, but if you want to call it a speed run, you can call it a speed run. God. Cortana to Echo 419. Come in, Echo 419. Roger, Cortana. I'm Reef 555. The Pillar of Autumn's engines are going critical, Bohammer. Request immediate extraction. Approach the crash site and be ready to pick us up at external access junction 4C as soon as you get my signal. Affirmative. Echo 419 going on station. Echo 419 to Cortana. Things are getting noisy down there. Everything okay? Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activate the final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be there when it blows. <laughs> Yeah, the Warlord in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, in the remastered version, or CE Anniversary, is much cleaner than the classic one. Because that, the classic one, is just, like, not clean.
It's so weird how this is on the Pillar of Autumn. Why this is here. Like, uh, why is there even a purpose of this thing being here? Like, there, there's not really a purpose, is there? Like... I was thinking about stopping for the grunt, but... The Covenant grunt that was just sitting here, or that's in this part of the mission somewhere. Um, but... Nah, I changed my mind. Too much work. This Warthog run, guys, is much harder than the Halo 3 Warthog run because you don't really have a limited time on the Halo 3 Warthog run, but on Halo Combat Evolved, you have a freaking time. If you do not get out of here by the time you are done, or by the time the timer reaches zero, you go boom boom, basically. So, I'm guessing this stream today, guys, makes up for um, what I have not been, what I didn't do yesterday, and yeah. Plus, I like these random little Halo streams every once in a while. Doing Minecraft all the time isn't really what I enjoy doing. So, like, it's not like doing Minecraft streams all the time, guys, is fun. It can occasionally be fun, but most of the time it is boring. So, we have three minutes still until the fusion drives blow up. Crap, we almost hit the Covenant ship. Got the other Warthog back there behind me. Wait, stop. This is where Bohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Yep, as you can see, the Warthog is back there. Escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. Rip to a hammer. But here comes the true board hog run music. trying to escape the Covenant. Um, the Covenant are trying to escape, but they're failing miserably. I'm gonna try not to hit the Elites to make them angry. Um... Putting maximum focus on this. Oops, screw you, Warthog. Two minutes it took for me to complete that mission. It's one of the hardest missions in Halo Combat Evolved. Well, one of the most annoying. Not hardest, but most annoying. If I did this on Legendary, you guys should see the Johnson scene. Where he survives but doesn't.
It's funny that one ship, UNSC ship, can blow up an entire Halo ring just by blowing up. I can't even skip the cutscene here. <laughs> and I'm I'm still going to do the Halo 3 Warthog run. Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. The two of you, Johnson and Echo 419. And <laughs> we had no choice. Halo, it's finished. So, no. basically, Master I Chief, Cortana, Johnson, and Echo 419 survived because she said Echoes. So, I don't think anyone knows if that means Echo 419. Probably does, which means Echo 419 probably survived Halo, Halo Combat Evolved, and then went on to serve um, those pelicans that crashed in Halo 3 on Sierra 117. So basically, she finally dies in Halo 3, kind of. So, 45 minutes to complete the entire campaign, including the cutscene. Or the, um, last mission. The Maw. Or Halo 3, or Halo 1 Warthog Run. Now let's go... To the Halo 3 Warthog Run, over here. Halo... Rally Point Bravo, pedal to the metal. It's so funny that you can actually do rally points in Halo 3, but you can't do it in Halo 1. I really don't like that. So, 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 we have to fight the Flood multiple times today, and... It's funny that this mission is called Halo, and the other one is called The Maw. Halo The Maw. Ugh, oh, poor Johnson. My god, everybody probably was so sad I'm when Johnson died. Her. because of Spark. Never have trusted him. You should have never trusted him. He threatens to kill you in Halo 1, and then he somehow escapes, and then, and then now he just gets in Halo 3 and thinks it's okay just to kill Johnson. Johnson was nice enough to trust him in Halo 2 at the end, and then he just betrays. Uh, 343 Guilty Spark just betrays I am sorry, him sorry. at the end. But come. You are not sorry. Let's just speed run this part too. It's like so easy to kill the flood in this. Let's just speed run it, I don't care. Screw your flood. So. 
We started at 48 minutes. Let's see how quick we can do this. Even in death, your sergeant guides us here. Dawn, of course. The frigate, we still have a chance. Find the doorway in the cliffs, team. The Dawn is on the other side. How dare you, Sentinels? So, one minute so far. Don't let this ring be the end of us, Chief. I shouldn't have done that. I should have actually taken them out. But I got an idea for how to take them out well, or perfectly. Of course. Poor elites. You gotta feel bad for the elites. And then now they're all just trying to kill me, so I kinda don't feel bad for them anymore. At least when they're trying to kill me. But I feel bad that they got turned to flood. You gotta feel bad about that. Don't let this ring be the end of us, Chief. So two minutes. This took. So I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna stop talking here so you guys there, can hear the music, the Warhawk run music. And here we go. Come on, Spartan. Go, go, go! This is literally the best music, probably, in all of Halo, besides one final effort in Halo 3, but let's go. So far, this is taken for the th Halo 3 Warthog run. Okay, so this has only taken five minutes. Well, four minutes. Seem to be five so far. Okay, five minutes now. If only the music was louder and the scenery was quieter, that would make the mission much better. Oh god, I hate. I hate the part when you crash into the carriers. And they blow you up. They're like, literally. Eh, we touched the sentinel. Come on, can we make this an under... Can we make this an under 10 minutes? I mean, that one is quite obvious. We can make it in under 10 minutes, probably, but, like, we probably won't be able to make it in under 7 minutes, because we're already 5 now, 5 minutes away now. We've played this for 5 minutes now. Oh, crap! I knew that, I knew that wouldn't have worked. Oh, 
Hopefully there's another Warthog run in Halo 6. That would be, that would be really good if there is one. 50% chief. It's funny how Arbiter knows how to drive or er, uh, operate UNSC vehicles when he's not even a part of the UNSC. I mean, he kind of is in Halo 3 because uh, the elites go against the Covenant, so... And I can notice a difference uh, between Arbiter's plasma rifle as well, because his looks whiter, kind of like Chipmaster, I guess. Here comes my favorite music. Favorite part of the music. Stupid Sentinel. This reminds me of one final effort, this part. You know what? I'm thinking about doing an arc, an alternate cutscene, guys. Hey, you guys like that idea? I'm, I'm gonna do an alternate cutscene instead of the normal cutscene. Why not? So, alternate cutscene, here we come. And of course, there goes the things flying out of the sky. Oh crap, that was a bad idea. <laughs> it's funny how Arbiter survives, but Master Chief just dies immediately. So, I wouldn't be able to make that, so I guess, you know what, let's just go with the normal cutscene, why not? I was going to do an alternate cutscene, which is, um, all I have to do is go around the mountain or the other way, the shorter way. Oh, that was close. Four elites trying to run away, but failing. Woo-hoo-hoo! That was sick. Also, do you guys want to see the grunt before we go? Probably. Uh, let's just say hi to the grunt. Hey, Arbiter, are you going to kill the grunt? Are you going to kill the grunt? Yep, you're going to kill it. <laughs> I figured. Um, okay, so let's go quickly because it's falling right behind us. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, there we go. So, we did it perfectly, right in time. The music is a little bit overdue. Hang on. But, um, like it's. Because we're, we're like slower than the music right now, but it's not a big deal. I wonder if we actually didn't kill the grunt, if the grunt would actually still be there. Probably. Chief! And it's surprising again, guys, because after Halo 3, you think 343 Guilty Spark is dead, but he actually isn't. If we don't make it, we'll make it. It's been an honor serving with you, John. So we only completed that from in 10 minutes, which is pretty good. Um, let's watch the vlog, shall we? Why not? I'll be quiet here on out. We completed it in 10 minutes anyway, so I'll be quiet here on out. 
For us, the storm has passed. The war is over. But let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. For their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their fight, our fight, was elsewhere. It's so weird though how the Forward Unto Dawn actually the front of it got cut off. Like a As we start to rebuild, not crashing. This hillside will remain barren. A memorial to heroes fallen. They ennobled all of us. And they shall not be forgotten. There's Arbiter CSO Supercarrier up in the sky. Freezer, With Shipmaster. Up. I remember how this war started, what your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you, but you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Heart to the ladies dead. Were it so easy. Were it so easy. What happened to all those marines? They just like disappeared. And there's the Ark and the last ever green friendly phantom we see in all of Halo. Things look different without the Prophet's lies cloud on my vision. But I would like to see our own world. To know that it is safe. Fear not. For we have made it so. By your word, Arbiter. Take us home. It's upsetting, because we go a whole nother Halo game without seeing Arbiter. Halo 4 didn't see Arbiter at all. Halo 5 we did, though. You can see 117. Here's Chief Spark. Chief? Can you hear me? I thought I'd lost you, too. So you already lost Arbiter. <laughs> what happened? I'm not sure. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces, did a number on the Ark. The portal couldn't sustain itself. We made it through just as it collapsed. Well, some of us made it. Yep, they didn't make it, but Arbiter did. That's weird how the back end didn't make it, but the front part did. Like, how did that blow up? The front part. Or the back part. If only there was a game where you could actually explore the Forward Unto Dawn. I mean, you kind of could in Halo 4, because but the first it. mission, Dawn. The truth and the Covenant, the Flood, it's finished. It's finished. Only temporarily, though, the flood beacon, come back. But it'll be a while before anyone finds us. Years, even. It's upsetting because the infinity yes. finds you. Wait Would have been better if Lord Hood found you or something. Hopefully, Lord Hood comes back in Halo 6 because. Everybody probably would want Lord Hood to come back in Halo 6, and Arbiter, and Shipmaster, and all those characters, except they go back to their classic armor and stuff, like, Chief comes back to his Mark 6, I think that is. 
That looks like Mark 6. Could be wrong. It probably is Mark 4. And there's the other cryopods for Linda, Frederick, and Kelly. And at one point, Sam. But then he died, sacrificing himself. And again, though, everybody has to sacrifice themselves at one point. Like Chief, probably, in Halo 6. So, there we go, guys. Hour and three minute long stream. It wasn't too bad. Uh, half of the stream... <laughs> three quarters of the stream was... Uh, Halo Combat Evolved, and uh, the ending was Halo 3. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.